In this video, we're going to examine how matrices can be used to solve logic problems. We can apply our matrices to solve problems of all logical scenarios, and we can use this example to kind of help us out. Uh, we're told Jim, Mario, and Mike are married to Shana, Kelly, and Lisa. Use these clues to find out who is married to whom. So the first clue says Mario is Kelly's brother and lives in Florida with his wife. And so this kind of helps out on this. Now we're trying to figure out who is married to whom. And so if Mario is Kelly's brother, that means that they cannot be married. And so we know, I'm just gonna fill this one in. This is not gonna happen. So I'm just gonna fill it in. So I know that's not where we're Mario and Kelly cannot be married. I'm also told, you know, Mario lives in Florida. So that's another piece of useful information. So I'm going to put Florida above Mario. That way I can help out the rest. Now, Mike is shorter than Lisa's husband. Well, that means that Mike cannot be Lisa's husband because he's shorter than Lisa's husband. So that means you know, this is not true. Mike and Lisa are not going to be married. And we're also told that Mike in part C works at a bank. So just like I did for Mario in Florida, I'm going to put bank above Mike in case that's helpful. Shana and her husband live in Kentucky. So again, I'm going to put a Kentucky above Shana. Well, that means that Mario and Shana cannot be married because Mario lives in Florida. And so we're going to cross this one out, which tells me, you know, if I want to figure out who Mario is married to, Mario is not married to Shana. You know, Mario is not married to Kelly. So if I take a look, there's one more box left. You know, I see this is the only person Mario can be married to. Mario is married to Lisa, which means there's no way for Jim to be married to Lisa if Mario is married to Lisa. So once I get that check mark, I can actually kind of fill in the rest of the row because I know Lisa is married to Mario. So now I need to figure out, is Jim married to Kelly or is Mike married to Kelly? So we're told Kelly and her husband work in a candy store. Well, Mike works in a bank. And so that means that Mike is not Kelly's husband. So I see that Jim is actually Kelly's husband, which means that Jim cannot be Shana's husband. So again, since once I get that check mark, that means that these two, Jim and Kelly, are married. So I can fill the rest in. And I see that means Mike and Shana are married. So let's write our answer, figure out who is married to whom. So I'm just going to type out the answer. I see that Jim is married to Kelly. I see that Mario is married to Lisa. And I see that Mike is married to Shana. And so by setting up a little logic set, we can kind of use the idea of matrices to help us figure out the solutions to some logic problems by kind of filling in what we know and crossing out what doesn't match for it. So it's a little interesting application to our matrices.